It seems like discussions about renewable energy are happening everywhere. On the radio, while you drive to work, on the news when you get home, even at your child's grade school science fair. As the impact of global climate change becomes ever more apparent, a call for a transition away from fossil fuels has begun. A transition to a new normal motivated and defined by decreased energy consumption. Globally, this task may seem daunting. The world's economy is founded on fossil fuels, and transitioning to a society based on renewable resources essentially requires the reconstruction of an entire system, economically, industrially, and culturally. However, on a smaller scale, communities around the world have already begun this transition, and they can provide some encouragement and guidance moving forward. Take, for example, the town of Gusing, Austria. In the midst of severe economic downturn and energy bills that were too high to pay, this small community of 4,000 was labeled by many as a dying town. In the face of an $8.1 million energy bill owed to fossil fuel companies in 1992, a handful of the town's leaders wondered what it would be like if Gusing could produce its own energy, and if doing so, would help bring back life to the region's sagging economy. First, however, the city leaders realized they would have to create a new definition of normal by adjusting energy usage and reducing consumer demand. With the reduction in energy consumption, the leaders hoped Goosing could produce enough energy on its own to power its public buildings. By implementing energy-saving techniques like more efficient light bulbs and heat-saving insulation, all public buildings in Goosing were able to reduce their overall energy usage by 50%. Soon after, a decision was made for all public buildings to stop using fossil fuel energy altogether. The beginnings of Goosing's journey toward energy self-sufficiency focused on heating. The community was surrounded by 133 hectares of forest and, in combination with the use of scrap lumber, the abundant timber was viewed as a renewable asset. In 1992, a wood-burning plant was built which heated the equivalent of 27 homes. In 1996, the plant was expanded and increased production to levels that provided heat to the entire town. By 1998, it seemed like Goosing's dependence on imported fossil fuels was a thing of the past. The city leaders had identified a method to convert their wood resources to electricity. The community leveraged a new technology that used steam to create an alternative form of natural gas from lumber. This gas could then be used in Goosing's power plants. By implementing technologies that converted the renewable resource of timber into heat and power, Goosing was able to completely eliminate the need for fossil fuels in their community. Goosing had achieved energy independence. Today, the town of Goosing has grown considerably, and the city is praised as a prime example of the ways in which renewable energy can bolster a local economy and restore life to a community. Goosing also managed to cut its carbon emissions by some 90%. It's the first town in the European Union to do so. As the world transitions toward a future marked by the decline of resources and concern over environmental degradation, communities like Goosing provide us with examples of how we can successfully adapt to our changing planet. The case of Goosing reminds us that adaptation to a new normal is possible with the combined support and strength of a community.